What's up, everybody? Hopped on the bike today. I'm on. I'm gonna ride out to Caroli Park and look at the bridge. See if they're almost finished with it. It's supposed to be finished in October, and it's October the first. Today's October 1st, it's 2.50 in the afternoon, and it is 93 degrees, and it says it's partly cloudy. So, we're gonna take a ride out to Caroli Park. We did that in another video, and I said in that video, we'll go the first Sunday of October, and it is the first Sunday of October. So we're gonna head out there. And actually, when I get home, I gotta make out a test. I'm giving a test tomorrow. I don't even have it made out yet. So, I gotta get that done. Cause I gotta, uh, I gotta get on putt-putt tonight with, with my group. We'll be playing tonight. I hadn't played too good the last couple of nights. I got, uh, I got, Two new apps on my headset. One of them was one of them was pretty was good. Whether well, I like both of them, but one of them that I got it's not it's not a game. It's more like a a story. It's called the Anne Frank House. Now, I'm sure y'all have all heard the Diary of Anne Frank. It was an app and it told her story. It was really interesting, sad too. Uh, talked about, uh, showed pictures and talked about, you know, where she hid, you know, where they hid her and all that stuff. And the neat part after they told you the story about it, you actually got to go tour the house in VR. So that was neat, that was really neat. They have, uh, they, they, they have several things like that in VR where they tell stories and you actually feel like you're there. And it was really neat looking in, looking in the little, the space that they were. It was, you know, it was behind a bookshelf. And I tell you, there was a lot of separate rooms back there. They were small. But there was a lot of rooms back there. It showed you their their bedrooms, their the loft, uh, the kitchen, the bathroom, and all that. And I and I tell you, they got they got captured, and uh, they uh, they put her her and all those people in a concentration camp, and she died like two years later because of illness. It was sad. She, uh, I tell you, she was something that young. I think it was 13 when she was hiding out in there or something like that. Because I think, I think it said she died when she was 15. But yeah, I tell you that, she was, she was amazing. Uh, so I, I watched that and, you know, went and toured the house and everything. And then last night I bought premium bowling. Everybody, I've got forever bowling, but everybody was saying how the premium bowling is better than the forever bowling. or the four VR, however you want to say it, bowling. Uh, and let me tell you, it's a lot better, the premium bowling. If you have a VR headset and you're looking for a bowling game, I would recommend the premium bowling. It's a lot, lot more realistic than the other one. And, they, and it seems they have more things in there you can do as far as competitions they got like a league play you can play in and all that stuff and if you don't have a headset I would recommend you get one 
You know, it's funny, you know, you think all these kids would be up here playing VR and stuff, but just about pretty much all the people that are in the putt-putt groups and the golf plus groups, that kind of stuff, are people in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. And you know, 30s too, but they're more of the older crowd. I can say that because I'm old. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's really enjoyable. I mean, you're, you actually feel like you're out there playing. They got a lot of good exercise games on there. But if you are thinking about buy, buying a VR headset and you're going to get the Quest, don't get it just yet. The Quest 2 is out. The Quest 3, they're taking pre-orders for it right now. I would recommend waiting and getting the Quest 3. I've heard it's, I've heard it's, it's better. The, uh, the video quality and all that stuff. Better processor in it. But yeah, it's pretty, it's fun. You'll get, you'll get hooked on it. We, uh, we went to Sam's yesterday, Sam's Club, because we were out of some stuff. Oh man, let me tell you. It doesn't take long to rack a bill up out there, I'll tell you that. We went to, we went to Sam's Club, got our stuff. We were in there about 40, 45 minutes. And $300 later, we left. Doesn't, it doesn't take long to rack up a bill out there. Oh, they didn't stop at the stop sign and I got them on video. Yeah, we got, and, and you know what the sad part about it is? We spent all that money and we didn't even get any food. <laughs> that was just stuff we needed, you know, like soap, detergent, all that kind of junk. But, I will say this, we got it, and it'll, what we got, it'll last a long time, because, you know, you're buying big quantities. One of our, uh, one of the guys that plays in our group, now there's, there's three of us that live in the south, and two of us, two of them live up north. And we, we, we talk while we're playing and everything when we're, we're in a room playing together and everything. And we, we've been talking about food. And uh, we were talking about shrimp and grits. And then the two people up north, they didn't, they didn't know anything about it. So one of the ones up north, he posted a picture. We're all, we're in a group me app together in the group me app where we can get in there and, you know, message back and forth in there. He posted a picture in there of his shrimp and grits that he was, he was trying it. And he said it was wonderful. So let's see what we got here. Oh man. Road still closed, that's expected. That's expected. But I tell you, I don't I don't know if it looks any different than the last time we came out here. Uh, maybe maybe a little bit different. Don't fall over, bike. Well, it looks like they still got quite a bit of work on it. I don't know, it might have, it might look a little different. You can see the sides of it, they got that built. I guess they just gonna have, they gonna have to lay that concrete on there. No, I just wanted to come and check it out. I'm ready for the, ready for the park to open back up. 
they did post on the Facebook group that uh, they posted on the Facebook group that they were wrapping the trees with Christmas lights and stuff. They uh, they have the Christmas lights every Christmas uh, that you can go through. I don't know. I might uh, I might ride out here one evening and ride through there with the Christmas lights. I've never. I've never ridden this far at night. I have gone to Christmas lights and other rides for the last two years. Uh, but that's a house. It's not very far from where I live. But uh, I might ride over here this year at night. I have to, I'll do it before it gets real, real cold. I don't know, they say we're supposed to have a Quit turning them. They say we're supposed to have a, a pretty hard winter this year. I don't know if that's true, but honestly, I hope so. I love it. I like it when it's cold. I rather it be uh, I rather it be cold than hot. You know, I've never ridden back down there on those streets. Maybe we can. Let's ride down this road right here. See what's back there. I've never been down here. See if it just dead ends or if it goes on around. Well, I tell you, that's, that's one thing I love about having this bike. Is, see, I wouldn't, I wouldn't drive down here in a car. I wouldn't think to just, you know, well, let's just go out driving around in a car. Let's go down this road and see what it looks like. I just, you know, but on the bike, you do it. Now, what is this guy stopping for? You don't go. There's no stop sign. I don't know why you wouldn't go. Have I been back here? I don't, know. I don't think I have. I'm gonna go around you, buddy. I don't know what they're looking at. nephew had a birthday yeah yesterday well his birthday is today but they had a party for him yesterday up at the camp my daughter went I didn't go I, I had so much to do yesterday but my daughter went and she said the food was wonderful they grilled chicken and ribs so I missed out Looks like this right here just might make a loop. You know, I think I'm gonna make I'm gonna make that a mission of mine to drive down all the roads in town on my bike. I never uh Oh, that was bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. I think we turn here. You know, I I don't know my way around. Well, I mean, I know my way around West Monroe pretty good. Okay, I would say. Not the best at it, but I know it okay. I didn't grow up in West Monroe. I grew up in Monroe, and we hardly ever came over here. You just go across the across the bridge. I'm, I know you. I know if you've been watching my videos, you've seen videos. You saw that video where I went to the marina that they put up here in West Monroe. Well, just across the river there, that's Monroe. So it's. I mean, I can I can ride to Monroe on my bike. I've done that before. Uh, 
but you know we never really came over here so and my daughter she grew up she grew up here and she knows her way around west monroe better than i do it's her and her when she had a boyfriend they would they would ride around you know go places and so they they knew about all about riding around Too. I'm gonna see what's down there. There's a car behind me. We'll go on the parking lot and let him pass us. Well, let's see if this. I don't know if this might. I wonder if this takes us to the main road out there. We shall see. Looks like these houses are getting ready for Halloween. You can see Halloween decorations. Yeah, you know, this might take us to the main road. We'll ride down here and, and look. And I think, uh, I think next week I'm on, I'm gonna get me a, uh, I'm gonna get on my bike and I gotta go to the bank. So I'll do that. Go get my YouTube money out of the bank and put it up. Gotta save for the, for our trip this summer. Now, is this just gonna make a loop also? Where is this gonna take me, I wonder? Looks like this is gonna make a circle too. I gotta get my brakes fixed. Oh, that's a dead end back there to the right. They need, they need to mow their yard. And the puppy dogs, like three or four of them. that noise I thought it was my bike but it's coming from that building over there oh look at that they got 12 pack cans three for thirteen dollars oh look at that they got dr. pepper Dr. Pepper cans, four for 11 bucks. I'm gonna have to come back and get some of that. I'm gonna have to see if my wife will drink Dr. Pepper. She's picky. She's, Chana's picky about what she drinks. It's gotta be Coke. Let's see if I can't persuade her to drink some Dr. Pepper. Yeah, but she's, She's real picky about how her drinks. It's funny. Shoot, that's four for eleven dollars. That's cheaper than the off-brand stuff I'm getting. Man, I can get me some real diet Dr. Pepper. 
talking about that. I drink off brand, the Sam's, the Sam's Cola. I drink Dr. Thunder, Diet Dr. Thunder. I can't drink anything with carbs in it. Chuck Cook for Sheriff. They're having elections around here. These signs are up everywhere. Police, jury, all that stuff. I gotta find me a, I gotta find me a new doctor. Uh, The doctor that I was going to, been going to him for, my goodness, probably five to ten years when I, when I found out I had my diabetes. Uh, I went to him and he put me on the medicine and everything and, and I'd just been going to him ever since. Well, I was informed last time that I went that they are no longer seeing patients. That they're just doing walk-ins only. I'll show you, I'll show you where the doctor's office is. It's right up here, the doctor I used to go to. Uh, so I've got to find a, another doctor to give me my diabetic medicine. I probably got about, I probably got about 15 days of medicine left. I don't know why they're doing that, just doing walk-ins, but I do. I did notice he's got a sign up that he's running for coroner. So that might be why. But they used to do, they used to do all the blood work in the office and everything, and now you gotta go some, you had to go, I had to go somewhere else to do the blood work. I don't know if you can see it. There's, there's where it says Dr. Marshall Sanson for coroner. That's him. And that's his office right there where that black truck and white car is. Sanson Family Medicine. Open seven days a week. That's where I would go. I got, I mean, he does a good job. And the thing I like about them is when you go, you don't, I don't even have to make an appointment. I go and I'm usually out of there in around 20 minutes. It's, it's quick. Uh, I, got, I got aggravated with them one time. I went up there and it was, uh, I got up, I had to go to work. I left work and went straight there because I was out of my medicine and I needed to get my refills. And, uh, and it, it, it made me kind of mad. I didn't get ugly with the woman, but I told her how I felt. I wasn't ugly to her. You know, you can tell people how you feel and not be ugly to them. Uh, I got there and it, it was about 4.15 when I walked in. And I said, I need to, I gotta see the doctor. And they said, what for? I said, I'm out of my medicine. I gotta get refills. Uh, sir, we don't do refills after four. And it was, a, it was a Wednesday. 
and they don't do refills on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. They only do refills Monday through Wednesday, or Monday through Thursdays when they do refills. And it was a Thursday, I think. They don't do refills on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it was a Thursday. And I said, well, I'm out of my medicine. I said, and y'all don't do refills until Monday. She said, well, I'm sorry, sir. I said, so what am I supposed to just go without my medicine all weekend, my diabetic medicine all weekend? Well, I don't, I said, you gotta be kidding me. I said, I just need a prescription, I need a refill. And I guess she went to the back or something. They said, uh, they'll see you. I'm sitting there, I hope so. And, and my thing is, I don't know if any of you are doctors or anything, but why do doctors do that? Why don't they refill, you know, why not do the refills on those three days? Is it something you gotta do that makes it tougher on you? Or, or after a certain time you don't do refills? I don't, it, it, it don't make sense to me. And you know, but when it comes to the situation, I'm kind of ignorant of it. But if you know, I, would, I wouldn't mind you letting me know in the comments. I'd be interested to know. But I wish I would have asked that question earlier in the video. I don't know how many people still watching. <laughs> uh, but we're just about home. I think I'm going to call it a video. I will leave the camera running as usual in case something exciting happens. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment. And I will see y'all in the next one. Later. Oh, and one other thing. Watch my Black Bayou videos. I put it, I had to put that into two parts. If you, if you missed them, go back and watch them. They're the two videos right before this one. In the time, in the order of newest uh watch that video watch those two videos it was over an hour long that i filmed so i split it up into two one video i think is 35 minutes and the other one's 33 so go back and watch the, go watch those videos all right but that's that's it that's the video i hope you enjoyed it i will see y'all in the next one later